David R. here. Today I'm going to talk to you about this book, Pure, White, and Deadly by John Udkin. Now, John Udkin was a physiologist and nutritionist and founding professor of nutrition at the Queen Elizabeth College in London. And he did studies on sugar and found that sugar is the cause of heart disease, obesity, diabetes, gallstones, peptic ulcer, um, and a variety of other conditions. Now, he did his studies on rats, on pigs, roosters, and even humans. One particular study in the book he did on 19 young men, and they were fed a high-sugar diet. Within two weeks, their triglycerides went way up. And six of these men experienced weight gain, uh, high insulin levels. And after two weeks on a normal diet, all these bad things went away. So obviously that proves that sugar causes a lot of issues with people. But that's not all. He did other studies in here, even studies from his peers, even found that sugar caused heart disease, and it wasn't fat that did it. He said that um, heart disease isn't caused by saturated fat in the diet. It is caused by an increase in sucrose consumption. He says reduce your sugar you reduce your chances of developing heart disease, diabetes, and all kinds of other conditions. He says people with peptic ulcer, hiatus hernia, gallstones, uh, Crohn's disease, they, uh, they need to go on a low-carb diet, and they will treat their condition because sugar causes acidity in the stomach, and that acidity is what causes all kinds of other problems. He says that sugar causes dental caries. And, I, you know, we've been told for years that sugar causes cavities, which that's what dental caries are. Um, but he proves it in his studies. He said that if you're going to consume something sugary, just don't do it between meals. And if you do consume some, something sugary, you know, just brush your teeth afterwards. He says that uh, sugar causes fatty liver. Now, this is what's known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, where the liver enlarges. But he says that is caused by sugar. He says that sugar also causes early maturity in children. You know, instead of uh, better nutritional standards or lack of disease, like we've been told, he says sugar is the cause of um, children maturing sexually much faster. And another thing, sugar causes uh, estrogen to rise in men. And obviously that can be, (laughs) that can cause a whole host of problems. He says that he used to be a sugar addict himself. He ate a lot of milk chocolate and licorice, but he, he got off of it slowly. And he says if you're going to reduce your sugar intake, you you want to um, start off by having an incentive to quit. You you need a reason to quit. And that reason could be to lose weight or prevent heart disease or something like that. The second is to cut down gradually. You don't want to do it all at once, especially if you're consuming a lot of sugar. Now, I myself have been cutting back gradually. I only consume sugar once a day now, and I don't consume a lot of it either. He says, uh, obviously, avoid sugar between meals because um, if you consume sugar with food, the food will absorb some of that um, sugar so that your blood sugar doesn't go up as high. But if you consume a sugary food between meals, your blood sugar will rise much higher. He says, uh, have a sugary treat maybe once a week. He says, that's not bad. Just once in a while, maybe once a week or whenever. And drink sodas, if you're going to drink sodas anyway, uh, drink them with 
artificial sugar. Now, he says that artificial sugar is okay, but I I disagree, even though if I do drink a soda, which I haven't for a while, I would probably consider a diet soda over a regular one. Even though I don't believe that artificial sugar is healthy, uh, I do think that it is better than the regular ones, even though I, <laughs> I'm probably wrong on that. Just anyway. So in the last chapter, he talks about how he was attacked by the sugar industry, food industry, even his peers. And he was even, um, <laughs> he was even called a, a uh, basically a science fiction writer, you could say, or his work was science fiction. And he sued for libel on that one. But, yeah, he was just, he was uh, defamed in many ways. You know, he, he was silenced. People didn't want to listen to what he had to say, even though he had the evidence. Um, you know, it's just how it goes, I suppose. So one of the reasons he was attacked for his studies of sugar was Ansel Keys. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Ansel Keys. Ansel Keys was a guy who um, found that fat caused heart disease and not sugar. So he was the sugar industry's dream person. You know, once his study hit, his seven countries study, uh, that supposedly proved saturated fat was bad. And uh, the sugar industry loved it because they could sell more products. They could just sell them fat-free, fat-free whatever, and increase the carbs, the sugars, whatever else. Eh, but it's fat-free, right? Well, now, since obesity is on the rise, we can see that uh, Ansel Keys, you know, he wasn't correct, but Yudkin was. But according to Robert Lustig, uh, the guy who wrote this book here, Fat Chance, which I did a review on as well, he said that... Um, Keys delivered the knockout punch and won the food fight, while Lust, while um, Yudkin, Yudkin was um, silenced and forgotten, and just until recently, actually. And uh, Lustig, he he shed some uh, light on on Yudkin, so he's a Yudkin guy. Um, but anyway, if you're going to buy this book here, you're going to want to get this one with it. They're, in my opinion, they're, they're like, you know, closely related. Although I do like Fat Chance a little more. I like this one, but that's just personal preference. But anyway, talk to you later. Bye.